we learn about our planet Earth's place in space, the more we come to understand just how fragile our existence may be. In 1980, researchers Lewis and Walter Alvarex put forward the idea that an impact from space may have been responsible for the end of the dinosaurs. In 1994, all telescopes turned toward Jupiter as we witnessed the collision of comet Shoemaker-Levy 9. Gravitational interactions between objects and the unfortunate overlapping of orbits all add up to send small and not-so-small objects on a collision course with planets near and far. And while Jupiter may show no lasting signs of impact, our rocky world is scattered with signs of impacts happening throughout our planet's geologic history. With the new discovery of every ancient impact, the realization that we need to find a way to protect our planet becomes more urgent. On November 24, 2021, NASA launched a first-of-its-kind mission, the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART mission, is tasked with seeing how hard or easy it is to change the orbit of an asteroid's moon. Since launch, DART has traveled for 10 months to reach the asteroid Didymus and its moon Dimorphos. On September 26th, the mission and these asteroids will be nearly 7 million miles from Earth. On that day, DART plans to impact its 555-kilogram mass into Dimorphos with a speed of over 6 kilometers a second. This is the first time that humans have tried to actually alter the path of an asteroid. This is the type of thing that blockbuster movies are made of. This collision will be watched by observers all over the world who will work to gather as much information as possible as the world turns. Our site is well-placed to observe the impact itself. Changes in brightness near the impact time can be compared with models to help determine the physical properties of Dimorphos. Combining light curve observations from many sites over a long period of time will allow accurate determination of changes to Dimorphos' orbit as a result of the impact. The same physics, kinetics, that explains how pool balls interact and car crashes play out, can also be used to understand the results of DART's impact on Dimorphos. Just like a glancing blow may cause a minor shift and a head-on collision can send things flying fast in all directions, researchers will see different changes in orbits of Didymus and Dimorphos around each other. The DART mission is a test to see how effective a kinetic impact is in changing the orbit of an asteroid. We are using this binary asteroid system for this test because it provides a clear and accurate opportunity to measure the orbit's change. Understanding the motions of pool balls is fairly mathematically easy because they are nice round objects. Asteroids? Well, they come in many different shapes and we are going to learn about the shapes of Didymus and its moon Dimorphos from images being taken by DART in the time right before impact. Also on the scene is an Italian CubeSat, Lycia Cube, which will be returning images to Earth of Dimorphos from before, during, and after the impact. I'm currently a participating scientist on the mission, but I've been involved with it for a while. It was conceived as a more coordinated set of two missions. NASA's DART and the European Space Agency's Asteroid Impact Mission, which is morphed into HERA, a mission that will rendezvous with the Didymos system in four years. While Lycia Cube will be watching Didymos and Dimorphos today, HERA will be starting its four year mission in 2024. The data from all these missions is going to allow researchers to accurately understand the asteroid shapes and how that influences the collision. I will be building the digital terrain model for Didymos, the binary asteroid systems primary. Additionally, I'm responsible for updating and testing the software needed to generate the shape model. My part supports our scientific understanding of asteroids, especially binary asteroids. It takes a myriad of different scientists working on different tasks to fully understand the system. While some people work to understand the asteroid shapes, others work to understand what kinds of large and small rocks, called regolith, 
may compose those shapes and move in response to the impact. My main interest is in the behavior of asteroid regolith and the topography in response to the DART impact. Are we going to trigger landslides and landscape evolution? How will any impact-induced seismic activity contribute to landscape evolution? What are the physical properties of the asteroid material itself? For example, cohesive strength. It is entirely possible that DART will hit Dimorphos, like a shopping cart hitting an SUV, and it will just bounce away, taking some damage. It is also possible that the collision will be more like a shopping cart hitting a large display of bottles that go everywhere while the cart goes splat in the carnage. And some researchers are hoping Dimorphos will look and behave like the rubble pile asteroids Bennu and Ryugu. If that's the case, we may see the same kind of rocks splattered everywhere behavior that was seen by the Hayabusa 2 and OSIRIS-REx missions at those asteroids. In short, my interests are on changes to rubble piles in response to a known impact. This has less to do with the primary goals of the DART mission itself to determine the efficacy of current kinetic deflection technology, and more to do with what we can learn from a known impact into a rubble pile asteroid. As with all science experiments, we may see nothing, or we may see something we never expected. Whatever happens, these researchers are going to spend the next many months, and years, working to gain as much new knowledge about asteroids as they can from this experiment. While we currently don't know of any asteroids on a collision course with Earth, their research could one day help keep our planet safe. And in the ideal situation that such information isn't needed, the results from DART will expand our understanding of asteroids and their history throughout our solar system. The data from this mission, with an impact that will be over in moments, will take years to fully understand. We hope you will join us in this journey of exploration and follow along at psi.edu and through NASA's DART website.